Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Social Live, the only live show where we recap the latest social media news you may have missed. It's your weekly social media quickie. I'm Stephanie and I'm Courtney and we're the co-founders of Social Fly, a social media marketing and influencer agency in New York City and we have a lot to cover today per usual and before we kick things off we just want to say if you share this video you are going to be entered to win a pouch couch. What is a pouch couch? Christy Shaw. Shaw. The, uh, the pouch couch is <laughs> the ultimate go anywhere lounger. It's awesomeness. Check this out. Here we have Jordan modeling the pouch couch. And the pouch couch prize comes with just the couch, not the model. <laughs> oh man. But if you comment and share a lot, maybe we can work something out. <laughs> so check out Pouch Couch and, and share and you can win this. Alright, well let's get to it. We have a lot to cover. First things first, this weekend, Envelope Gate is what was trending after the Oscars. It was an incredible show. I thought Jimmy Kimmel was hilarious. It was smooth sailing until the last award of the night when the wrong Best Picture movie was announced. So I couldn't stay up late. I was so exhausted. So the when I woke up the next morning, this was all anyone was talking about. Uh, no one was talking about who won. Everyone was talking about what happened at the end. And there were memes everywhere. The reactions in the audience were trending. Everyone seemed super confused. And honestly, even though this was not a good thing, it's what everyone is talking about. And I think the true winner here is Price Waterhouse Coopers. Yes, they blamed the starstruck accountant, Ryan, how do I say it, Colian, was because he was distracted by Twitter. I remember seeing that. The accountant from PricewaterhouseCoopers, after Emma Stone went off stage, he tweeted a picture about it. And it was right in that moment when he was supposed to be handing the correct envelope to Warren Beatty. And that's when the big switch occurred. Yes. So. But everyone is talking about PricewaterhouseCoopers, and who knew that this is some uh, service of theirs? So that's, that's my take. That's, that's where you say, Kermit. But more breaking news. Last Wednesday, right after we aired our episode of Social Live, Instagram announced Announced, announced and launched Instagram albums. Uh, so now users can add up to 10 photos and videos in a single post and it's essentially a carousel style so followers can swipe through the content and I am absolutely loving this update and I didn't think I was going to like it. Courtney, you said you were going to love it. You were skeptical and I knew I was going to love it because I always have that big problem of choosing the best picture to post and now I can just post them all so it's going to save me a lot of time. It does take a bit to upload though because you have to edit each photo, how you like it, and then tag everyone. So it does take a little bit more time, but you can really tell your story. So I think brands are absolutely going to be using this feature. We've seen brands like Carnival Cruise Line, uh, Benefit Cosmetics are already testing this feature. So let us know what you guys think. Have you tried out uh, Instagram albums yet? Comment below, and again, don't forget to share this episode for your chance to win a pouch couch. It's, it's still, it's all good. It's not included. <laughs> all right. Courtney's favorite update. update. Yes. Uh, breaking news from YouTube. We YouTube are following this. YouTube wants yes. to sell you subscription TV services. So YouTube is going to sell bundles and packages uh, from the broadcast networks and some cable networks for $35 a month. Uh, it's going to launch later this spring, and it's really a mobile-first option. They, accept, they expect subscribers will spend most of their time watching on their phones, but they'll also be able to watch on laptops and traditional TVs through Google Chromecast devices. And there's also going to be a skinny bundle. So this is going to feature four networks, ABC, Fox, CBS, and NBC, and uh, related broadcasters like Fox News, ESPN, and Bravo. YouTube execs say the base package will include about three dozen channels. And I am loving this because I have shared this several times on the show. I rarely watch TV anymore. I'm paying for all of these channels and I'm not even watching it. I'm only watching things on my computer or my phone. So I'm going to save a lot of money. Yeah, and I'm sure you're going to be able to just stream this right to your TV as well because you can, I'm sure you can play it that way. So I'm definitely excited about that too, and I can't wait to see what new TV shows YouTube is going to roll out. They're definitely yeah. going to be trying to compete with Netflix and Amazon. Look, Amazon, they just want to, they want an Oscar. So everyone's trying to get in on the game. 
All right, next up, Twitter is testing personalized customer service and direct messages. This new feature allows businesses to personalize customer support when getting a message. So essentially, when a user messages customer support, the new custom profile will show up. It's going to include the name, the title, and the picture of the person that you're speaking with. And really, this is an aim to make customer service more personalized on Twitter. So you're not just chatting with a bot. And Courtney, I tried this out yesterday because they are doing a beta test with T-Mobile. And you know my feeling about T-Mobile right now after the Super Bowl. Yep. I still have my unlimited news. I have my unlimited news. So she is tempted to switch. I am tempted to switch from Verizon because I just love T-Mobile's marketing. I really do. Any company that markets to me in pink with Justin Bieber is is a fan of mine. So I tested out the feature. I sent them a direct message on Twitter. They got back to me within it was like 10 or 15 minutes. Sent me a personalized message, and I think it's going to be really great for for brands. So we're gonna we'll see what happens. I agree. I'm really really excited about this one. All right, it's our favorite time of the show and yours too. It is time for Get It While It's Hot. And this week we are featuring S'mores Girl Scout cookies. Uh, they are celebrating 100 years of cooking by introducing new Girl Scout S'mores cookies. They're combining two iconic Girl Scout traditions, s'mores and Girl Scout cookies, to highlight their strong connection to s'mores and the outdoors. I'm going to taste these first, the Which Girl ones? Scout all right, take a bite. What do you think? They're very good. I'm try it too. They're actually delicious. <laughs> They're really good. They are good. However, I will say, I'm a Thin Mint girl. I'm not a Thin Mint girl. Really? I think I'm a s'mores girl now. I'm not really big into what Thin Mint girl. in the freezer. Who I'm not big into Girl Scout cookies, but mm -hmm. I actually really like these. Uh, does anyone know, do you know, or does anyone here know, what do the Girl Scouts do on social media? Are they promoting these? Do they need our help? Do we know? I think they do need our help. Who doesn't need our help? Everyone needs our help. We have one more cookie to Girl try Girl Scouts, out. if you're watching, call us up. So they also introduced the gluten-free Toffee Tastic and Trio cookies two years ago in 2015, and they're still continuing to sell. Mm. So we're going to try these as well. This is the Toffee Tastic. I'm going to take a bite. These are gluten-free. What do you think? They're good, but I can't compare anything with Thin Mints. I mean, Thin Mints are the best. In the freezer. Just buy it. See what you think, Bart. Let's try it. Comment below and let us know your favorite Girl Scout like cookie. I like S'mores better though. If your Thin Mints are your favorite, you might have more of a chance to win the pouch couch. No, I'm just kidding. I won't favor any. I won't favor any opinions. Mm. Good. Very good. It has a little bit of an aftertaste, but I like it. Good. All right, guys. Well, we will be back next week for another episode of Social Live. Until then, have a great week, and we will see you soon. Bye, Bye everyone.